Hey lovelies, Carla Nicole. So listen, not going to be on here long. I got to head to work here. It's my late night. So I have a late start today, but I thought, hey, I'm just going to give you guys a little something about um, better loving. So, um, you know, I am um, basically encouraging people to um, have better love relationships. And I think the best way to improve your love relationships is by doing some things that maybe isn't just, you know, basic or um, just, you know, mundane. But we need to add a little spice. You know what I'm saying? And if you have a significant person in your life that you truly, truly care about, love, um, consider flirting with each other. Um, a lot of times we take some things for granted. And I think the major thing we take for granted is that someone will always be here. Um, but understand this. This is very important. That when you take someone for granted or when you do not uh, acknowledge your mates or your man or your woman or your love, there's always a gap there where someone in mere, I don't know, passing by or at work or somewhere you're not um, can come in and just swoop your mate off their feet. And it doesn't even take much. I want you guys to get this because it's, it's very important. It doesn't even take much. In other words, you know, a lot of times you'll hear people tell people uh, that are newly engaged or married. They tell their mate, they tell their, you know, the people of the, the typical advice is to make sure that you don't go to bed angry. Well, that's that's good advice. Yes, but that shouldn't be the only thing. You should not, and I want you guys to get this very important, you should not let your mate out of the door angry. You should not allow anger to get past, really, I don't know, it shouldn't even be past an hour, really, to be honest, because a lot of times when we don't really sit down and turn to each other when we're feeling some type of way or angry or bitter or upset, when we don't really look towards each other and say, let's fix this, it takes one person, maybe two people. It takes just a gap of time that someone can come in and say, hey, you're looking down. What's going on, beautiful? Hey, hey, handsome. Why are you looking so upset? What's going on? And the next thing you know, you're like, hey, hey, oh, my God, they made you feel a, a little bit better than the man or woman at home made you feel and then the next thing you know they're like hey you know let me take you out for some tea some coffee let's just talk and now guess what you know within the next couple of weeks you're talking all right and then you're in bed with them and you're like how the hell did this happen now you're sneaking and trying to figure out not to find out one over the other it's a lot but that's all it takes man is don't I mean, you have to start flirting with your mate. You have to be engaged with your man. Are you guys not sending little cute pictures to your man on a random? Do you know what side chicks do? I'm just going to be honest. Do you know what side chicks do? They keep your man focused on them. So when he's gone at work, they're in his inbox. They're shooting him pictures. They're calling him at work. They're checking in on him while you're doing other stuff, focusing on your kids and on everything else. The, the side chicks are focusing on your man and you're wondering, well, why is she getting so much attention? Why is he so excited about her? Well, you got to understand the mind is what is captivating your mate. It's not necessarily all about looks, ladies. And a lot of us are guilty for thinking, well, he picked her over me. She's not even as pretty as me. Ain't got nothing to do with pretty. 
You can think that if you want to. It don't got nothing to do with pretty, I'm trying to tell you. It's got a lot to do with, hmm. She's constantly on the forefront of my mind. She is continually keeping me thinking and focused on her. How? Flirting. I'm just going to keep it 100% truthful. It's flirting. These side chicks, man, you, we get angry with side chicks. But we need to be taking some notes with what side chicks do. We do. Hey, Altamese, yeah, you need to take, you need to start, stop getting angry with them and start taking notes with what they do. These ladies that are also got your man all, all excited and he can't stay away from her. Do you know what she's doing? She's keeping him intrigued by her. Number one. He's always thinking about her. Why is that? Number one, there's spontaneity. Do you guys understand the power of spontaneity? I mean, really know what that means? We're not spending enough time trying to intrigue the mind of the man we're with, nor are gentlemen spending time trying to focus on keeping the woman intrigued. Women are, are now more... Um, has a power too. Now women can find a, a way to get intrigued by gentlemen. And guess how? <laughs> it's pretty basic, man. A gentleman can say, hey lady, you know, you're looking beautiful today. I love seeing you. I love that beautiful smile. It don't take much. I'm trying to tell you. We get mad about affairs and get mad about cheating, but it don't take much. What's going on in the mind, man? Who is consuming your mind is who consumes your time. I'm going to say it again. Who consumes your mind is who consumes your time. So what that means is if a woman or a man is all up in your man's mind or in your lady's mind, I'm telling you right now, they're going to pull them from you. And you're going to wonder how the hell did this happen? Very simply because they keep them focused on them. And guess why? Do you realize there's so many opportunities throughout the day that you can be talking to your lady? If you don't know this, then you better get busy starting to study. Because I'm telling you now, there is inboxing. There is text messaging. There is video calls. There is emails. There is all kinds of opportunities throughout the day you should be talking to your lady. Send her pictures, man. Pictures. Ladies, y'all are sexy enough to know. You got to hit your dude and your man with some sexy stuff, man. Because right now, these chicks are sending women stuff. I get ladies halfway naked in my inbox. And I'm like, I'm not into women. I'm into men. But okay. Let me put, let me put y'all up on game. These ladies are... And it don't even have to be, it don't even have to be nude shit. It could just be a little shoulder. It could be a little, a little leg, a little thigh. And that will have that man so crazy wanting to get to her because of what? Flirtations. We're not flirting enough. We're not spending enough time engaging with the mate we love. But then we're pissed off because another woman came in. You can't leave no goddamn none. You can't leave no opportunity. I don't care. I, listen, you can't leave a inch of opportunity for these other ladies out here to get a hold to your man's mind. You just can't. Ladies, gentlemen, you can't even let your woman get all captivated by a dude spending a little a little more time paying attention to her than you are. And what that means is. A lady can be like, oh, let me get my hair trimmed and highlighted. Let me get my eyebrows done. And just so happens that a man that's studying your woman's face more than you are says to her, I love what you did to your eyebrows. They look great. Did you did you color your hair? That looks good on you. It takes that much. And the next thing you know. You're like, how the hell 
Did this man get in the, get my woman to get in bed with him? Easy. It's by simple, minor conversations. It's simply by paying small attention to something that you're not paying attention to. It takes nothing. I'm trying to tell y'all nothing. A small gap of time. That's all it takes. And I just don't want to see relationships fest festering and y'all pissed off and bitter about how mad you are that your dude is out here messing around with some woman. Well, how in the hell do you expect you got your man out here looking thirsty? When's the last time you flirted with him? When's the last time you made love to him? I'm not talking about sexing him. When's the last time you made love to your man? I mean, this is stuff that's important. When's the last time you paid attention to his skin? When you invested in his mind? When's the last time you spent real hours cultivating that man's mind and telling him, I see you. I love you. I care about you. I want the best for you. What you getting mad for the other women find your man attractive? For what? Why are you mad about that? You picked him. And most of the time we pick fine dudes. So what you mad for? Be happy other women find him attractive. Just know that he's with you. That's all you got to worry about. Don't be worried about, oh, she, you looking at her, you looking at him. So what? There's beauty out here. There's handsome dudes out here. Beautiful, beautiful men. I'm talking about beautiful men out here. You think I'm not looking? But the reality is it doesn't matter. I love and care about who I love and care about. And that should apply to everybody on this call. Y'all all know we have plenty of time to do a lot of stuff that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But when you truly, truly take the time to pay attention to your mate and say, I care about what's going on with you. Hey, babe, I saw this for you and I, I wanted to pick this up for you. Pay attention to your mate, man. It doesn't take that much. Just pay Pay small attention to the small things because the small things are huge when it comes to flirting. Trust me. Trust me. I'm telling you, it takes little stuff. Like I told y'all before, a dude talked about his side chick and you know what made him want to leave his woman that he had of many years to go over to this woman's house and risk everything he had because she would jump into his arms every time he would hit her door. Jumped. Y'all were hearing me. She would run and dart and jump into his arms. And it was such a turn on for him. It wasn't about the jump per se. It was about the fact that she showed she gave a damn. He was in the house. A lot of us women, we, we don't, we don't, we don't acknowledge enough. Our man comes in and we don't even pay attention to him. Pay more attention to them babies. But when he comes in, he's just like a fly on the wall. Oh. Did you acknowledge your man came in the door? When's the last time you intimately kissed him? I'll wait. I'm not talking about just a peck on the lips. I'm talking about really kissed. This stuff is important. We want to have really good, wholesome, monogamous relationships. But we ain't making sure that we focusing on how the monogamy is supposed to be working. Monogamy's not working right now. Do you know why? Because there's a lot going on. There's not enough excitement. There's a lot of all kinds of ways people can intrigue you. But there's a lot not going on in the relationship because we have so much going on that's not for our, the betterment of the relationship. We're really not taking the time to really see what is it that this man really wants from me? He's watching porn. Why? He's intrigued by that woman that wears those dresses every day. Why? He goes to work and is more excited about going to work than coming home to you. Why? You got to ask these questions. Well, if he's more excited about a woman at work, she's giving him something you're not. And I guarantee you with something real small, like attention, she's intriguing his eyesight. When's the last time you put some dukes on? Take off that stuff you are wearing. When's the last time you fixed up for your man when he comes home? I mean, really, really fixed up. Like, put some dukes on. Put your hair in some kind of sexy way. Like, babe, I love it when you wear curls. Really, baby? Okay. Find out what it is that moves your man when he comes in the door, man. Y'all are just, uh, 
he ain't, you know, he's here. But when are you really excited about him being there? There's women out here that wish that they had a man at home. I'm talking about wished, hoped, still in the wait for a man to be there. You got one fine looking man coming in your house and you don't even acknowledge him. You don't fix up. You have those same old jogging pants that you always wear. Take them off and put on something sexy. Put on something cute. Do your hair. Fix your, fix your face up. Make your man want to desire and run home to you. One thing that I learned from one of my exes, he told me something very powerful. He said, man, babe, we do it so much. He said, the finest woman can walk past me and I don't have the energy to get it up. She's pretty though, but I can't do nothing with it. It's like, that's what we should be doing. If you want a man to be so into you, you should be making sure he is not questioning anything other than when are you coming home? When am I going to see you? What time you what time you get off work? There should be a rush in his soul to see you. Don't ever like out to be said. Don't ever get too comfortable. Do you know how many women out here are thirsty? Do you know how many dudes are out here thirsty? And I'm upset with women that are allowing their fine ass men to be out here thirsty. Y'all wrong for that. That man shouldn't be thirsty. If you got a man at home, that man should be exhausted over you. So when he does come home, he's like, man, I just, can I get a break, please? So I can get something to eat. I'm just asking. Can I get a break, please? <laughs> That's what you need to be having. Not this humdrum stuff. Get off of it. Why do you think I'm doing better loving calls right now? Because it's vitally important. We want better loving in our lives. And I'm not somebody to dictate what you all should do. Open, close, relationship, whatever you all are doing is up to you. But we got to get the loving back to where it needs to be wholesome and cultivated. It's easy to pull a man. Easy to pull him. That's easy. Keeping them is the problem. Keeping them and keeping them well all focused on you. You got to make sure that you're doing some things that makes him say, man, I want to. When I get off work, I can't wait to see her. If, you're, if he's not doing that, you got to change that. You can, do, you can change it right now today. If he's so used to seeing you every day. Same old jogging pants, same old hairstyle. So go to the damn, listen, you can go over to uh, Best Cuts and have them layer your hair up. Do something he will not expect. Have a little face. Listen, I'm not saying you got to put a bunch of makeup on, but put a little something on. Put some mascara on. Put some lip gloss on. Find you a little sexy outfit something cute he ain't never seen you in when he comes home from work and say i appreciate you i'm glad you're home can i just spend time i just want to see you i just want to kiss you i just want to love you do that today instead of the same old humdrum stuff you've been doing change it up and gentlemen stop letting these other dudes compliment your lady dangerous very very dangerous your lady shouldn't even even if she gets a compliment, she thanks him and keeps it moving because of what? Because she knows that at home, not only are you complimenting, but you're do that behind the whole. I'm telling you, dude, this, this is what really works. While she's doing the dishes, go behind her and go around the waist thing. That is the most sexiest shit. I'm trying to tell y'all this is sexy. Go behind her waist and kiss her right here. That changes the game. You're going to get some tonight. Trust me. Because that shows I appreciate you. I care about you. I'm glad you're here. I want you. We get too caught up in this humdrum stuff and then get angry. Get angry because our man is with somebody else. But you can't be mad. You can't be mad because he's with somebody else. You can't. Because... All of it has to do with how much energy you're putting in when he comes home. Put them babies down when he comes home. Wrap your legs and your arms around that man and give him a damn kiss. And I'm not talking about them little pecs that we be giving like we give our kids. Kiss him. 
kiss him. Because I'm telling you now, the sense of touch, there's so many men out here. I do, I, listen, I do energy body work. I feel more than y'all know. I feel. So I know a lot of these gentlemen that's in relationships, I ain't talking about the ones that's not, that are in relationships are not being touched by the lady they're in a relationship with. They're not being touched. I'm telling y'all now. So with that said, you have men out here starving. Touch starvation. Y'all need to look that up. Touch starvation. Where they don't have, they're not feeling, they don't, they don't know you care. They can't feel it. They don't know. So when they get there, the only time you give it to him is when he begs to have sex with you and you give in. That is not enough. That is not enough. You have to make sure he knows when you come through the door, everything stops. Babies get put in the crib or whatever. Go in y'all's room. I need to, I need to tend to your daddy real quick. I need to tend to let the world stop, man, because y'all don't understand. There's women out here that want a man and you got one at home and you're not acknowledging his presence. You're not acknowledging that he's beautiful. You're not acknowledging that he's he means something to you. And then you wonder why he's out here messing around because you are not gifting that man the true honor that he deserves. Man, I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm telling you. And gentlemen, please, please be mindful that your ladies can get swooped up off her feet very quickly and very easily just by a compliment, just by a compliment. I'm going to tell you why I know, because a gentleman can say something so, so, so small. I'm talking about. He could say something to your lady and you haven't said nothing to her all week. He could say something like, man, listen, I had a dude tell me and I'm I, look, I'm just me. I'm trying to focus on my on my stuff. But he told me, I don't care if you got a dude or not. I just want I just want you. I said, OK, appreciate the compliment. But, you know, but some of that. But imagine if I did, if I was on that. Imagine if I was on that I, and, and dude is like three hours away. So give me a minute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Give me a minute. Oh, you, you said, say that again. You just want me. Oh, that's going to change the game. It's not always see. And this is what dudes don't get. Y'all gentlemen don't get this. It's not always about, um, all this extra stuff. It's not about him, you know, giving me a bunch of diamonds and jewelry and flowers and taking me places. It's not always that. Sometimes it's something so small like, girl, I crave you. Girl, I crave. I never forget a dude who said that to me. I said, did you, did you say what? <laughs> something so small and not what? Girl, I crave you. That's four words. And eyebrow one. I think this eyebrow went up like, did you say what? <laughs> okay. That, I'm trying to tell y'all, it doesn't take much. This is why it's vitally important. If you want better loving in your relationships, you got to focus on them. And you got to make sure that when you are intrigued by your mate, intrigued by your man, intrigued by your lady, you got to make sure that no matter what's going on in that relationship, I don't care if you're mad or not, you don't ever let that man go out that door angry to where... Another woman can be like, what's wrong? Two words. What's wrong? Two. That's all it takes is two words, which is what's wrong. And then you're like, what's wrong? And he says, man, my lady, she did this and this and this and this. If I was her, I would have never done that to you. <laughs> what? And, and we're angry, though. But we let that man go out the door. Angry and mad and pissed off at us. Right. We let him go out the door. And then now another woman's asking him what's wrong. The two words that I said, what's wrong? And then he tells that woman what's wrong. And now she's already in her head like, oh, I can fix this. 
Oh, we can go on out to eat and you can just come on by to my spot and we could talk about it. Oh, really? Don't never not flirt. Don't never not make sure your man is taken care of. I'm telling you, ladies, don't ever let him out that door like that. Because it takes only two words for a woman to ask your man, which is what's wrong. And he gets to talking about what you're doing wrong. And that woman is getting all she needs to go on and pull the man that you let out the door mad. And then what? Then you're like, damn, how did that happen? Because you took you allowed your man to be out there without having his focus on you. In a positive light, see, your man has to constantly think about you in a positive way. If you don't, if you don't, it's dangerous. Well, Steve, not necessarily can the flattering be too much. It's got to be authentic. Number one. Okay, guys, y'all want to get this. You guys might want to write this down. Flattery. It's fine as long as it's authentic. Number one. Number two, it's real. Number three, you studied that woman to give her a proper flattering. You can't just start flattering her about stuff that's just everybody else can see. Study her. Babe, I see that you've been working hard on this, 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 and this. And I just want to tell you, I appreciate that. I see you. That flattery works better than man, girl, you look good or, or your hair looks nice because those are basic conversations. But if you take the time to know she went and got her hair layered, highlighted and you seen it and you like the new wave she put in her hair, that's a little different. You studied that woman. It's not always about just flattering. It's about what is it in that woman that's moving you? What is she doing in your life that's moving you? A woman needs to be gifting you life in your marriage and your relationship. If she's not gifting you life, then she's not really. I mean, she, she's nice. There's a lot of nice women out here. But when it comes to truly, truly having a woman of honor and a woman of, of care, that woman has to really be gifting you life. That's what women do. That's what women do. We gift life. So in a man's life, she should be gifting you something. Okay. And like I said, Steve, man, it's not about the flattery. It's about the true, authentic truth about what she's giving you in your heart, mind, and soul. What is that woman giving you? Hey, babe, you know what? When you do this for me, I appreciate it. I love it when you do this. That's very important. So like I said, make sure you share this video because there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that don't get this. There's a lot of people that don't get this. They don't get the truth when it comes to relationships. All they all they get is, you know, all this extra, but they really don't gift. They really don't get the truth. We need to really be paying attention. How can we make that man's life better? What can we gift him? What can we do for him? How can we allure him? Because we've often, be ta we've often been taught about, you know, I don't know, getting catered to by men. But how often do we really cater to our men? We don't. We don't ever sit down and say, ooh, I'm going to flirt with him today. I'm going to change it up. He's going to think he's coming home to this, but I'm going to change it up. I'm not always talking about dinner either. Get those babies to a babysitter. Let him come home and be like, what is this? Like, it's dark in here. Walks in the bedroom and it's all this, you know, hearts and, and, and you're just, I just want to be, I just want it all about you. Change it up, man. We got to get past just being mundane in relationships. Remember now, I told you guys, I'm going to be doing the better loving video calls. Where all of us are going to be able to talk to each other. We're going to all be able to talk and vibe and tell each other some, some sexy stuff that we can give to our mates. But we first have to be honest with each other. We have gotten to the point where we're just getting really routine. And it's really not, 
it's really not a good look when it comes to wanting a relationship to be lasting, to be able to build endurance. You see, the endurance doesn't come just because we're always excited to see each other. Endurance comes from constantly engaging, constantly talking to each other, constantly making love, not having sex, making love to each other constantly flirting with each other don't just let other women come in and be flirting with your man more than you are when's the last time you told him he looks good going to work yes alta we're gonna have some fun girl you gotta if you guys are not a part of my group which is live with carla nicole get over there and get lined up to be on that group because i'm telling you it's going to be september 23rd that i'm having the first better loving call where I'm going to talk about how to help these gentlemen with premature ejaculation. Not no big deal. It's very, it's going to be very quick to kind of help these gentlemen with that problem and result and the resolution for that. But I'm also going to have an open forum where we talk about how do we keep a man's attention? How do we keep a woman's attention? How do we keep the fire always blazing? We're not, we're not focusing on that enough. We focus on other stuff, but we're not focusing enough on how do we keep the fire blazing. We can't be mad at these side chicks, man. We got to start studying what they're doing. And gentlemen, you can't be mad that other dudes find your woman beautiful. She is. That's why you picked her. You just have to make sure that you tell her she's beautiful in an authentic way. From an honest space, not the beauty of every other woman out here, because there's beauty all over the place. But what made what made her in your mind stand out so much that you chose to be with her? Think about it. You don't have to tell me, but I would strongly suggest you tell her because there's many ladies out here. Beautiful. Um, smart, intelligent gifted I mean they got a lot they got a lot going on and and so what is it about her that you said she's the one or the ladies if you have more than one what is it about the ladies that you're like man they were chosen by me handpicked because of this reason you gotta talk about that stuff and then ladies hey listen your dude comes in you gotta make sure you cater man I don't give a damn what they tell you out here. Don't be catering to a man that you ain't married to. Don't be catering. Listen, let them all tell you that if, you, if they want to. Listen to me. You want a man, you want a man to spend time with you and, and be honored and cherishing your time. Do what you got to do. Keep your stuff to yourself. It's your private life. You ain't got to tell people what you're doing. But just know this. Men don't want to wait around for you to make a decision if you want to be intimate or not. For, for some ring. If you want to make love to that man, you do you. It's 2018. Let's get off of this stuff, man. All right. I'm out of here. I hope you guys share this. It is a very, very important message. We need to flirt more and we need to have a more engaging, fulfilled relationship. And in order to get that, we need to be in touch with, with each other. And... Not only be in touch, but also touching each other. If we're not, that relationship is at high risk for someone else to come in and uh, cause you guys turbulence. All right, it's Carla Nicole. I hope this helps somebody today. Share this, like this, follow me. Carla Nicole, I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a good day.